So, in-depth study of the New Testament, um, or the early church, I should say in-depth study of the early church, which includes the New Testament, and as well as other writings uh, written around the time of the writings of the New Testament and just after it. <clears throat> and then going further, um, is pretty lonely when you when you're actually uh, doing it as a discipline and studying it. Um, not not reading it as devotional stuff. Like I know many people who read um, Justin Martyr almost does. Uh, You know, in 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 Polycarp, just the it, it's it's very strange. Um, they'll read it and they'll grab because it's stuff that, that's outside the the canon, right? But it's stuff that they can, hmm, uh, or they'll read it as okay, this is the writing of the saints. Um, but it's very lonely because, yeah, how many quote unquote Christians are on here who are you know, Bible beaters who are, you know, it's it's their way or the highway, basically, you know, it's their own, it's not, it's not they're supporting Lutheranism or, or, um, you know, Catholicism or anything else like that, it's not, uh, <coughs> some historic movement, um, it's their way or the highway, you know, You have a bunch of them on here, but you have very few people who will actually really grapple with the stuff, study the stuff, do comparison of the stuff. Um, and basically to do that, you have to get your hands dirty. You have to look at it not as sacred text. And you have to be willing to... Uh, Listen, listening to other ideas and other opinions about these things, um, for many people, is dangerous. Because if you get a new idea in your head, or something that you've never noticed before and you've been shown, you can't unshow that to somebody. Right? So I'm going to speak very cautiously on here. More cautious than I was in the past. Like, I'm, you know, I'm very liberal about talking about documentary hypothesis. You know, two different creation accounts, J, E, P, and D, at least. You know, I, you know, and then you have the Deuteronomist. Well, J, that is D. Um, J, E, <coughs> and P for the first four books. Uh, but I don't deny, you know, people think that I take, you know, I say, well, then none of that happened, or an atheistic view, no, I still hold up the Torah as a great mystical piece of work, and actually that holds valid history in it. Um, with New Testament writings, and with, uh, with the early church, it's, you, you find yourself, I mean, James at Pandora's Box is pretty much the only person I could really get into and talk to um, with it because I wasn't worried about destroying his faith because he he was um, he was he was Valentinian Gnostic anyways I mean we started off arguing um, but also there's not too many people who like to do you know like to talk about that kind of stuff or really get into it um, the uh It would be nice to see more people who were non-theist or, you know, actually get in and study this, uh, these, this event and these events and these people who wound up basically 
changing and forming Western civilization and impacting it in the most colossal way imaginable, basically causing what we now know as Western civilization. There, this, 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 uh, these, these writings of these strange people from this strange sect that came out of uh, Palestine and Rome and Alexandria and Greece and, you know, slingshotted Western Europe into a different direction. Well, actually, the Middle East as well. I mean, it's Islam is dependent on it as well. And so is the reactions to it from Judaism, so modern rabbinical Judaism, same way too. It's It, it affects all that. But... Um, Yeah. And, you know, don't take this as it's lonely up here at the top. It's just, there's, um, it's hard to vent the frustration at people like Airmen and the dishonesty. And the, 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 just the disingenuousness of it. And he knows his readers aren't, you know, uh, uh, misquoting Jesus, I went through, I was, I could just tear that paragraph by paragraph, I could just rip, I, I mean, when I was reading, I was just like, no, no, no. And how many, that was right when it came out, when did that come out, oh, it came out in 06, 08, alright, take it easy, it's just, it's frustrating, that you get these, these, um, people who, who didn't even bother to read like the book of Mark or something like the gospel of Mark is, you know, shortest gospel and the gospel of Mark. They didn't even bother to read that or have any sense of, you know, people who still think Nicaea was about the Trinity or had anything to do about which books went into the Bible or, um, had anything to do with the Pope or, you know, come on here and we'll talk about Bart Ehrman or you, and just, it's just, oh my god. Yeah. If even in, the, in an attempt to educate, they don't care. Because they're not even, they don't even care what he says. Or that's a scholar saying it. As long as it's something that agrees with their foregone conclusion, it's like dealing with a fundamentalist. But it, well, they are fundamentalists. It's like dealing with a King James onlyist that will take an incorrect piece of information, like you know the the Alexandrian cult uh, denied the divinity of Christ. You go, no, actually, that's the opposite. Alexandria, you know, they those in Alexandria tend to elevate the deity of Christ at the expense of his humanity, and actually it was Antioch that, uh, it was, nope, they, they won't hear it, well, Kent Hovind says this, or, you know, I mean, that's, that's the irritating thing about these Bart Ehrman books, is that unless you're, <laughs> unless you've studied enough, and, yeah, you know, I don't even think most seminaries, like, or even, well, maybe any Bible colleges or even a lot of New Testament classes in, in, in colleges. It's, I mean, I, I took, it was a New Testament class in college that I took that was so bullshit. They just wanted to make sure you, the guy just was like, he, he didn't, he wasn't a scholar. He was, he was just, well, just read the books of the Bible. And then just, uh, they had no difference between Sadducee, Pharisee, and Essene, and Zealot, basically. And like, just, just stupid crap like that. You know, there's no Ignatius or Polycarp or, you know, who wrote what, maybe this wasn't written by this person, or what's, you know. There are Yale courses on here where people can watch, and I would encourage people to do that. Um, I believe Dale Martin teaches one of them. And he's of the slant of Bart Ehrman, but I'd rather have people watch him, who try to argue Ehrman with me, than just straight up 
start quoting Ehrman and all this kind of stuff, and it's like, you, you don't... It'd be good if they watched uh, Dale Martin's Yale courses, as well as um, uh, James White's stuff, scholarly stuff, because he's, I mean, these are both scout, Bible scholars. Um, well, I, I wouldn't call James White a Bible scholar, but it, he presents a lot of good information that the majority of people can understand. Um, and then you'd get kind of a balanced view. And then, you know, I don't know, it'd be much... It, uh, and people taking airmen, it's like, yeah, well, he's wrong there. Well, who are you to say he's wrong? Okay, well, I can just show you right here, and they won't do it. Just the next, next talking point. Let's just jump to that, well, oh, oh well, what about this? this is, uh... Will you prove to me why Jesus was crucified or had to be crucified for it to be, you know? No, we know he was. Well, how? Well, have you got, you know, I don't know, a few weeks and uh, can you read all this stuff and do you, do you have a concept of history and, you know, I don't know. 